Okay, now I'm mad. Ow, hey, stop. All right. He's not gooifying yet. You gotta hit him harder. Screw this, I'm out of here. Come back here. Well, you know what? You're not catching him now, are you? I'm gonna like this one. They're all going to die. Tuesday, pretty much right where we left off. Look at the way he waddles around. What a moron. This is gonna be great. Let's do it. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? It's been years. All the usual suspects are here. That was quick. All right, who do we even start with? Wheels, what do you got? Hey, uh, you looking to buy something? You're still selling stuff? I'm buying. Yep, it's going to be a struggle, but I fully intend to keep my business running. Not rolling? Uh, what happened to you, by the way? That run janitor didn't like that I corrected his spelling, but rest assured, he's going to get what's coming to him. You're going to kill him? I'll help. Kill him? Oh, no, no, I'm going to destroy him. Okay then, Monty. You gonna buy something or what? Yes. Hand sanitizer, probably. Looking at most of the children, we're gonna need some cleanliness. This is a bottle of hand sanitizer. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. The last 0.1% lives on Nugget. Probably lives on Nugget. Speak of which, I think that's a little guy locked in the basement where he belongs. Help! Nugget is trapped. This is definitely not my problem. By the way, I want you to know I really like what you did with Monty. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. What is? Are you blind? Look at this place. That other no-name janitor over there has really let this place go. You don't know his name yet? What? No. I guess I should learn it if I'm gonna draw up a kid. Go find out his name for me now. You seem stable. Hey there, kiddo. I'm your friendly school janitor. Oh, how rude of me. I'm Bob. Most kids around here just refer to me as a janitor anyway. You can call me that too if you like. Stop talking to Bob. We've had enough of Bob. What's his name? It's Bob. Need some help with the spelling? So my nemesis has a name. Bob. Do you have a name? What? No. I lost it in a war. Which war? The best one. The war on drugs? The one I was in. Haven't you been paying attention? Do you have a name? Yeah. It's that one your mom screams every night. I'm gonna kill him and take his mop. Seriously? Pretty sure he wasn't actually holding a mop. You bet. Take this declaration of war and bring it to Bob. Return to me when it's done. This will be one for the history books. Which, by the way, you can't read. Oh, he is holding a mop. I thought it was a... Okay, bye, wheels. This guy's got crazy written all over him. I can't believe it. It's not fair. Stuff at Raggedy Ann, what's your name? I'm Ozzy and you're one of these awful new kids. I can't believe my friends got moved to new schools for this. They volunteered, my friend. Well, as much fun as I'm having with the free range kids, I want to move it along to see what else we got to play with. Oh, it's you. Uh, how's it going? Are you okay? I'm, I'm just great. A little tired, maybe, or something. You wouldn't happen to have any of those pills you had yesterday. Nope, sorry. Then stop bothering me. The bell hasn't rung yet. I don't have to put up with you right now. Ooh, we're gonna sacrifice an apple on this one. No, not today. I'm so close to snapping right now, and I'm gonna need all my energy for when Cindy causes an issue. Get out of my face. I have a bottle of hand sanitizer I could probably make her drink. There we go, that's the bell. Everyone head inside. Okay, kids, teacher has a headache. So we're going to be very quiet. That does sound like kids. It looks like this school has more funding than the last one, so there are actually toys. Go play. Please be quiet. Yeah, I'm really good at quiet. Can I just have these kids stuff? Hey, I know I look like death right now, but my eyes still work. No going through other people's cubbies. Well, then turn around. There are some toys in here, but only this spinny fidgeter looks interesting. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, hello. Nugget is present. No, Nugget is late. So you're getting study hall. Oh dear God, what happened to your arm? Nugget had to chew it off in order to escape from the failed Nugget cave. Why did you... Never mind. You want to go to the nurse? You're bleeding all over my new classroom. Nugget is quite durable. Nugget will survive. Think you're missing a point here, champ. If you insist, go ahead and play, or do whatever it is that you do. I gotta be friends with the crazy one. There are no toys left for poor Nugget? This makes Nugget sad. You kinda need arms to play with toys. I have a toy for you. Nugget appreciates his generosity. Nugget will reciprocate with the Monster Mon card. I was hoping you'd want to play Patty Cake. So can we get a little more information? Nugget likes a fidgety spinny. What happened to your arm? Nugget chewed it off like a trapped coyote to help him escape. Your arm was stuck? No. Nugget just thought it was necessary. Oh. Can you chew off anyone else's arm? Well, since we already started this. Destructor Crown was the best toy in the toy box. My friends and I used to play with him all the time before the new kids came in. Was the best toy? Yeah, but now he's out of battery. No friends, no toys. You new kids are the worst. Yeah, the only toy went to that kid with one arm. I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. That's great, Cindy. But I didn't realize there was a door before. We're gonna escape. My dad drives a car like this. He said that when he dies, my twin brother Felix gets to have it. Your dad drives a toy car? That's sad, Ted. Hey, you can't leave. I'm responsible for you little monsters. Need to use the bathroom. I'll get you a Xanax while I'm out. Well, too bad. I don't have a bathroom pass for this new school yet. You'll just have to hold it. You don't look like you can stop me. Physically, I think she probably can. I can still give you study hall. Apparently, that's a punishment for stuff here. Yeah, let's do it. Oh boy, here we go again. Let's steer clear of him for a minute and see what else we got to play with. Anything in here? Could I use this doll? Yes. Uneventful. Can we use it again? Let's see if we can spring this guy's plan into action. Stupid lock. I can't get into the weapons closet. 
Janitor's closet? Same thing. Stupid new school. Won't even let me get the weapons I need. You're holding a weapon. A nugget? You're probably going to bleed out at some point. When you do, make sure it's somewhere fun. I need entertainment. Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. Nobody's going to miss Nugget. All right, Chinzo, what's your deal? No kids allowed in a teacher's lounge. Go finish your lunch, kid. I need to get in there. I don't care what you need. I'm not moving unless there is a monitoring emergency. But there is. Yes, monitoring emergency. I deal with them on a daily basis. You never know when delinquency or tardiness will strike. Well, it's... Like you said, on a daily basis, it's right now. Something down here? What are you doing? You cannot leave. You have not eaten yet. Well, hello, beautiful. Hello, child. What would you like for lunch? I guess a hamburger for only one dollar. That's a pretty good deal. There you are, child. One burger. Please enjoy. Yes, kid. Believe it or not, I do occasionally do my job. You just don't do it well. Crazy, what's your story? Normally my girlfriend would sit next to me, and my best friend would sit across from me, but no, we can't have that anymore. Stupid new kids, whatever, Ozzy. Since we ate, that obviously means we can escape, right? You cannot leave, you have not eaten yet. I bought a burger. Oh, my mistake. Please allow me to mark your passbook. I don't have one. Then you must remain here. I don't follow your logic, and I don't know where to get that. Wait. Wait. Janitor moved. I don't know what I pressed. I pressed something to make the apple go away and a janitor came to see me. There, floor is dry. What more could they possibly want from me? Mental stability. Pressing enter gets rid of the apples. I get it now. As much as I love watching Nugget bleed out, we need to get a move on. Anyone who has disobeyed our lovely principal today shall report to study hall. All of this may go to recess. Well, you know what? I disobeyed the teacher, not the principal. Apparently that doesn't matter to you, and why should it? Well, look at all the bad children. I expect you all to behave until recess is over. Please take this time to reflect on how to be less awful in the future. I'm gonna make a slip and slide out of that blood. There is to be no more talking or moving until the bell rings. Is that clear? Crystal. I said no talking. And I said I wasn't gonna do that thing with the thing, but look where that got us. Oh. Okay, well that was probably the wrong choice. You died. No moving or talking in study hall. Now would be a good time to eat an apple. Turns out actions have consequences. We'll maybe say nothing this time. Clever punch. We'll see if it lasts. Probably longer than your marriage is. I said no moving. Uh-oh. I guess we'll just kind of sit here and waste our time then. Uh, the coffee I had during lunch is running right through me. I'll be back in a moment. Do not move or talk while I'm gone. Can't shoot me from the bathroom, can ya? I'll take whatever these are. This is Ted's cubby. There's $3 in there. Yeah, I'll take that. This might actually be perfect. If he comes back and notices it's gone, well, Bugs is going to be the one to get the blame. My apologies. Good to see you're all behaving. Free money. There's the bill. Anyone who pays their lab fee can come with me to science. Otherwise, head over to the gym. Yeah, I'll go to science. Oh, wait. I guess I just committed to science class with the murderer. Today's lesson will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Observe the plant. Notice how it's neither carnivorous or poisonous because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under the microscopes. This one won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. Tell me about it. Oh, I see you like the leg. I used to have two, but the other went missing. If you find it, please bring it to me. I bet they're worth more to this guy. Darn it, none of these parts are the ones I'm looking for. Okay, that one pretty much writes itself. What are you looking for? I'm trying to find something to upgrade the precision of the laser cannon on my chair. I'm gonna use it to make that janitor suffer. I can't believe we don't get a show and tell at this new school. What a bummer. I didn't think you would like science. I don't. But I wouldn't be caught dead in those awful gym uniforms. Leave that to the ugly kids. It doesn't seem like there's a lot we can do, despite the fact that there's a lake and a fish tank. All done. If that's seriously the end of the day, that's not too bad. I only died twice. Now get lost in arm? Not sure there's anything we could do about that. I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you and... I know. It's just... I don't know, Felix. The whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. Five dollars? I'll take care of him. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... Ahem. How long have you been listening to our little chat? Long enough to hear some pretty incriminating stuff. Good. I wouldn't want Ted here to get in trouble. Why would I get in trouble? I didn't do anything. Well, that's where you're wrong. Which is just so typical for you, Teddy. Sigh. I'll just save our family's company myself. So, did I do that right? Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why aren't you in on Felix's plan? Because he's a good-for-nothing disgrace to my family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can do this. Maybe I can explain better during morning time. I'll be in a regular class. The stupid class for stupid kids. I'll be there too. The stupid class, if you want to talk then. See you then. What are you trying to accomplish? Just help me with this one part and I'll tell you the rest during morning time. What do we need to do? Well, we're going to need to distract Ozzy during morning time. Talk to him and see if he can figure out what will draw his attention. And I'm going to need someone who I can stage a fight with. Probably a girl. Although with the rezoning, I'm not sure if there are any in the uh, dumb class. Yeah, because they go in a dumber class. Teddy, you can't pull this off. I'll handle it. Let it go. 
I'm gonna try, you'll see. All right, dumb girl, Chuck. Ed wants your help with something. Ooh, help forward. I've only been here for like five seconds and I'm already being propositioned. Yeah, wow, amazing. Well, then he'll just have to go through a little test. Here's some gum. If he makes it find its way into another girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll let him know. I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before the bell rings. Chop, chop. Ew, why did you give me some chewed gum? Stick it in a girl's hair. Preferably that one. Will this girl go along with my plan if I do this? Probably not. She seems like trouble. Okay, bye. I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Well, you don't tell her first. Sorry about what? You haven't done any... Ha, <laughs> gum. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. Well, you just made yourself an enemy. I'm really sorry, but I have this really elaborate plan to... Get away from me. This is your plan? I know, but can you just go over there and see if she's okay? Maybe we can make it up to her later. That was wonderful. You're gonna be an excellent boyfriend. Yeah, okay. It's all coming together. See you in the morning. Good grief, Teddy. She probably likes to be beat up anyway. It's fine, Felix. My plan will work. You'll see. All right, I gotta go deal with uh, Ozzy. I feel like you like soft things that won't harm you. I can't believe it. It's not fair. What do you like to do? I like to play with my favorite toy. Oh, he needs the batteries for that. Not unless one of you new kids is selling them. Until then, my favorite toy is just a dumb paperweight. I'd still kind of rather take it over you. One battery, please. This is a battery. It can power small electronics and toys. I know what a battery is. And I think we're ready to move on. Okay, kids. Recess. What was I supposed to do? Oh good, you're here. Felix has this scheme that's gonna help our family's company, but I have a better one and no one wants to listen to it. Uh, I'll hear it out. What is it? I'll tell you. But you gotta promise not to tell anyone. Felix will be so mad if he gets his plan ruined and it's my fault. I want you to kill Ozzy. Why me? Why Why me? I understand why Ozzy. I mean, look at him. He's asking for it. We heard about what happened to your old school. We know what you're, um, capable of. I don't know what you're talking about. It's cool. I'm cool with you being a murderer. That's why we wanted to recruit you. Perfect. You want me to kill Ozzy? I don't. Well, Felix does. And I... I want what Felix wants. Yeah, I want you to kill Ozzy. How do I kill him? I want you to give him an asthma attack. He uses his inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're gonna need a long distraction. I figured we could pretend to fight or something to draw the teacher's attention and you could grab it. Right. But first we should handle Ozzy. You got something to distract him with, right? Literally any shiny object? Sure do. Good thinking. He'll move to the other side of the class to play with Destructotron. Here's your battery. Whoa, really? Thanks. Maybe you weren't so bad. It's always the ones you don't suspect. I'm gonna go play over by the toy box. I'll see you around, kid. Hmm, and that's your selection at work. When we start the distraction, be ready to grab that inhaler. I'm ready. Also, Felix didn't get a chance to empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There's some stuff in there that might be worth grabbing. Like money? No, no, the money's in my cubby. Felix's is to the right of Ozzy's. Ooh, everything looks fun. Let's go start a distraction. Lead the way. I just love this doll. She's so pretty. Just like me. Say my cue. You guys share a lot. We need you to cause a distraction. Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I'll only do something like that for my boyfriend. Ted will be your boyfriend. Yeah, remember? We need to put on a show to distract the teacher. Oh, yeah, that's my kind of date. Are you ready to go then? Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. Just play along. I've done this a million times. I feel like both the kids on the left side of the room aren't going to make it to the end of the day. Play along with what? This doesn't... How oh, dare you? Ow. Hey, that hurt. You're a jerk. Duh. Well, there's more where that came from. All oh, right, they're beating each other to death. Cindy, stop. Knock it off right now. Off she goes as fast as she can waddle. And then I'll take one of these. This is Ozzy's cubby. Take the inhaler. And also whatever this is. This is Felix's cubby. I don't know what's in it. It's green and in the bag. Actually, no. Money on the other hand. Okay, I'll stop. But I'll kill him if he ever does that again. Not good enough, you little brat. You're getting steady haul for this incident. Ooh, make sure you talk a lot while you're there. It was worth it. Did you get it? Please tell me you got it. Yeah, I got the inhaler and three dollars. Awesome, you're really good at this. Now what? Now that we took away his lifeline, we just need to stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. What stresses him out? Ozzy is a bit particular. He likes to do things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch, he does a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw him off his game. Attention, new kids. Yes? Where's your passbook? If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas, though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. That's an arbitrary rule if I've ever heard one. Oh, there you are. Yeah, we walked here together. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? We got this under control. Nothing, Felix. Just gonna show the new kid where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. Felix can't know that we're doing this. I want to do it just the two of us so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. I don't care your reasoning. Let's just kill the kid. In a few minutes, Ozzy's going to leave and use the bathroom. You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So, it'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go to that stall and wait for him. Felix is watching. Here's a fork. Did you talk to Carla? Carla? Will she forgive me? She she wants scissors. Of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Yeah, why should you do any of the work? Okay, mark my passbook and I'm out of here. So we should be able to just 
Hey man, you need to pass to be out here. I have one. Oh, a bathroom pass. Go ahead. It's fun because you can actually watch where Nugget came from. Did I use this stall? Yes. Maybe one more time? Oh, here he is. What the? I had a spare turn now I should have used. Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. I'm not done yet. Unacceptable. Everyone knows this is my stall. Sorry, first day. Don't care. The other one? I'd rather die. Well, that's an option. You haven't heard the last of this kid. But I might have heard the last of this kid. So do I have to walk back to class now or can I just go wandering? I saw Ozzy come back earlier than usual. Does that mean you did it? He's not happy. Excellent. I'll see you at recess. Well, at least he's in the extra absorbent sandbox. Have you seen my inhaler? I thought I left it in my cubby, but it's not there. Yeah, I think Nugget ate it. Darn it. Good thing I keep a backup of my locker upstairs. I'll just use that if anything happens. All right, idiot stick way to research the plan. Did you hear what Ozzy said? He has another inhaler. What are we going to do? Yeah, we can steal that too, I guess. Good. We continue with the plan. We just need to adapt a little. Yeah, all the best plans need adaptation. How so? We got some things to do. One is to find a green flower. Ozzy is highly allergic. Just seeing one should be enough to freak him out. Where do I get one? There's a view around the school. I know one grows back by the dumpster. Surely this should be very easy. Open the gate. Off we go. Do I want to wander? Probably not. Let's get the flower and get out of here. This is a green flower. Wow. Did you get that flower? Yep. Wow, you are good. We just have to get into that locker and steal the backup inhaler. How do we do that? There's only one person that could get us into that locker and I put gum in her hair this morning. Well, I guess he probably made the wrong choice, huh? Let's see if we can smooth things over with her. If she actually wants a fork, I actually have one. We have a job for you. Is that so? And why would I be so inclined to help the kid to put gum in my hair this morning? Because you're dumb? I'm really sorry about that, but if it helps, my plan has been pretty sick Shut it, snob. Did you get those scissors I asked for? I didn't. Seriously? Do you have scissors I could buy? I wish I could sell you something, but all my stuff is in my locker upstairs. I can't bring it everywhere with me. Being crippled sucks. I'm still taking orders for expensive stuff, though. Any scissors in here by chance? It's a dumpster. Sounds like someone is laughing inside. Bang on the dumpster. Who's in there? Hee hee hee. Oh. Who's banging on my dumpster? Probably the kids at the school. Hello, child. So good to have a visitor. Say, you wouldn't happen to have any food on you. Yeah, I've got a burger. Oh. It's got a smoky flavor to it. It reminds me of my cat. Smoky. Do you want him? Got anything else? I need to use the bathroom. Fine. Have a good time. Oh, where does this go? Scissors? Careful. Easy does it. Scissors? To the principal's office? I probably don't want to go up here. Oh, there's a whole more school. Found him. Scissors. One dollar. Uh-oh. I should get going. I'll get in trouble if I stay here. Yeah, no kidding. My life is ruined. It can't actually get worse. How do you think I feel? What are we doing here? Trying your best not to look like me in 30 years. Lady, it would take me a hundred years. Go my laps or bounce that orange ball or something. I'm going to go stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. Uh, okay, which one of these twins? My plans are dumb and yours are smart. No, we can finish this. And what will you do next time a street urchin approaches you? I'll ignore him. That means you, kid, go away. No, nope, no, nope, we can get this. We're not speaking to you. Get in line, new kid. This basketball is mine. Help Carla grab the ball. Oh, right in the teacher's face. Oof. Perfect. That was, uh, both of them. Who did it? Who threw that ball? It was this Jerome kid. He tried to take the ball from me. And when I tried to get it back, he just threw it in your direction. That's a lie. This kid came over and helped her snatch it out of my hands. Both of you shut up. What really happened? I only have one option? Carla's telling the truth. That's what I thought. Jerome, you know how bad my head hurts right now? By the look of it, it's pretty bad. No more than a waistband on his shorts, I'm guessing. Okay, now I'm mad. Ow, hey, stop. All right. He's not gooifying yet. You gotta hit him harder. Through this, I'm out of here. Come back here. Well, you know what? You're not catching him now, are you? She can run. Wow. Good work, kid. I appreciate your help. You think faster on your feet. Well, I guess I kind of misplayed this day, huh? Ooh, look what I uncovered. Here to explain yourself, miss? As much as I want to ask you what happened, I want to ask him what happened. How does he have another inhaler there? It seems violent tendencies are part of Mrs. Applegate's withdrawal symptoms. Poor Jerome just witnessed it firsthand. Take the stick. He was much faster than I thought. Worked up a sweat smacking him around. You killed Jerome. Yes. And I feel better and tired. No wonder the janitor likes hitting you kids with stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure Bug said he wanted something out of the vending machine. Probably blueberry soda. You know, we'll get both anyway. I think we got lots of money. You really get some free range in this school if you want it. This tree is quite large. It has a beehive hanging precariously from the branch. Yeah, let's shake and see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's probably not supposed to happen. Aw, oh, man. Angry bees are bad for your health. I can get into the janitor's closet. There's an axe dripping blood. This is actually a weapons closet. There's a chainsaw and shovel on this shelf. This school has a lot of fun stuff to play with. Ooh, what's this? This vat is giving us some dizzying fumes. It's hooked up to a tube that seems to be running to the cafeteria. I kind of want to know about this battle axe. These weapons are way too big for me to carry. This axe looks like it's been used recently, probably to remove Nugget's arm. Well, I better just take a chainsaw and be on my way. It's getting really hard to breathe in here. I'm not... 
longer. I can last much longer. All right, well, that janitor is going to enjoy that. One cherry soda for what's his name, and life will go on. Here you go. One soda. Thanks, kid. This is much better. It'll help me keep my figure. You can have this Monster Mon card. Oh, well, that's something, I guess. Everyone go home. The end? Maybe everyone except Jerome.